The Madison County Sheriff's Office is investigating a theft case. They say nine trained hunting dogs were stolen from this property on Baltimore Hill Road. According to the owner, a group of people took the beagles and coonhounds, believing they were abandoned. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Naja Sherman. And I'm Dan Schaefer. Investigators say three of the dogs were returned, and now they're trying to find the rest. Way 31 Sierra Phillips spoke to, to the property owner who said he hasn't pressed charges yet, but that could change. If he doesn't get all his dogs back. And she is there live now with details on how everything unfolded. Sierra. Tonight, there are five dogs on the property, either in a cage or tethered. Deputies say this doesn't violate the tethering law because we're outside of Huntsville city limits. Investigators say the dogs aren't abandoned because the owner checks on them multiple times a day. Then she said, you know what, it's better, it would have been better for you if you had that chain tied around your neck rather than those dogs. That's what this property owner told me one woman said to him as she and a group of people took his dogs on Sunday. He did not want to show his face on camera. You cannot go on people's property and take, and take things off. He says they told him they were taking the dogs because they believed no one was taking care of them. He didn't know the people or how to contact them. But why did they think they didn't have any food? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. The dog owner doesn't live here on the property, but says a family member used to live here in a trailer. He moved the trailer off the property last Friday to make room to build a home. That left the property almost empty. When I came up here, <sighs> mm -hmm. it kind of seemed like the dogs were abandoned. Yes, because the trailer's moving. Neighbors didn't want to go on camera, but some said they worried about the dogs, and the dogs often bark through the night. Property owner insists these dogs are well taken care of, and he just wants them back. We're playing a waiting game right now. The Madison County Sheriff's Office says if you believe dogs have been abandoned or are mistreated in danger, you should contact animal control. They say even if you have good intentions, taking someone's property is against the law. Reporting live in Madison County, Sierra Phillips, Way 31 News.